Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Guess who it is? Guys, my mom was watching my vlog and yeah. she goes, Jen seems like such a great friend. I'm like, oh, she really? is. Aww. She's like, you guys seem to have so much fun together. I'm like, yeah, we do. We just chat the whole time. <laughs> Aww. Look at your mom. But hey guys, welcome back. We're just going to the beach to take some photos. Um, do you mind clicking it? I don't have a finger at the bottom one. Oh, you don't have a finger either. <laughs> Stunning. But yeah, one look down, one more, to, or two more to go, but we're at the beach. Woodbine Beach and Tio. Woodbine Beach. It's I'll finally some content. It's weather, kind so of. beautiful. Look, that's wearing our shorts, our Daisy Dukes, and our biker shorts. But yeah, come along as we get some content, and welcome back to this week's vlog. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. That's gonna you be You are? Like short? I don't know. I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, guys. Definitely layers, but it's getting quite layers. long. I could see you having layers. Yeah. I need a few more layers. You I was thinking about I a chop, but... Hair. Not not a big drop out of them. To be determined, stay tuned in the in the channel. Okay, here we are. Okay, hi guys, I'm home from shooting content i just showered sorry if you hear the shower draining um but i got kind of an exciting package last week so i've been using the products for about a week and i wanted to share them with you so i got three products from road the third one being the lip peptide but it's actually in my work bag because i bring it to work so i don't have that like right now on me but i love it so no about that one okay but the first one i've been using is the peptide glazing fluid this is the one that I think is like really popular. Everyone talks about it, um, like the glazed donut look. So I have really been enjoying it. It's very hydrating. It's nothing like too aggressive or like too thick. And I'm someone who I don't love like thick, thick skincare. So I've really been liking this one, which we're about to put on in two seconds. And then the other one, should I wait for the tub to stop draining? Is that really annoying? I hope not. Um, and then the second one is the Barrier Restore Cream. So I've really been loving this. I've definitely used this the most morning and night. Um, and it feels very nice. Again, very soft. Nothing like crazy or like revolutionary, but I have been enjoying both of these products. But first, before I put those on, I'm going to be using my Dr. Dennis Gross little wipes that I've talked about before that I am obsessed with so it's like the daily universal peel the first one is an exfoliator the second one's like a cleanser anti-aging neutralizer um and i have been loving these i feel like ever since i've been using dr dennis gross products i truly feel like my skin has improved so much like one of the biggest things i've noticed notice is the lines on my forehead like i feel like i get those lines like right in the middle from like lifting my head up and stuff like that and being expressive when I talk but using their products I just I've noticed for sure that they're going away less and less and I think the product that's doing that is the vitamin C because this is the one I use every single morning um I've listened to his podcast before and he talks about this and how it's like amazing for fine lines so like my automatic thought is it's this product that's helping my skin a lot so yeah if you're looking for fine lines brighter healthier looking skin definitely get the vitamin c sorry i don't even know if i said that it's the vitamin c firm and bright serum but yeah step one of the wipes is the exfoliator kind of stings a little so like don't put on open like wounds or acne or like if you've picked your skin already don't do that and then you gotta let your face dry and we're gonna put on the anti-aging neutralizer my face still hasn't dried though there we go and then just to end it off, I'll put on the road products. But Bryce is out tonight, so I'm having a chill evening. It is already almost <clears throat> eight, like I did only get home like 20 minutes ago. Um, but I have a date with Summer House, so I gotta go watch that. I really look forward to Tuesday, or when, Mondays for Summer House, and then two, not Tuesdays, Thursdays for Vanderpump. 
If you guys are not on Vanderpump Rules, what are you doing? It's honestly so chaotic, so dramatic, I'm obsessed. I even got Bryce hooked, like, he won't let me watch it without him now, so. Yeah, if you're looking for a good reality TV show that's gonna, like, make you gasp, <laughs> definitely watch some Vanderpump Rules. But yeah, I'm gonna go head downstairs and make a little chicken salad because I'm hungry and need to cook something because we don't have many options. Hey guys, come get a haircut with me. Chopping it all off. So I'm gonna go chop off all my hair. Just kidding. The verdict's in, I'm only getting a trim with layers. I hope they do a good job. I'm going somewhere I've never been. But I'll be back with the results. My mom told me to get two blonde money pieces. Is she crazy? Do you know how silly that would look? Just just blonde? She just doesn't get it. She told me they're two dollars a foil. That is so incorrect. Is that funny? My mom goes, just get two blonde streaks in the front of your head. I said, um, I don't think so. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> like money pieces. So we're not gonna do that, but I think I'm running late, so we gotta go. Okay, I'm back. Quick hair update. I actually really like it. She only took like maybe like an inch or two off. And then she gave me some nice layers, a little face framing, really nice. It's harder obviously to tell when it's curled, like exactly the layers and everything, but I think it looks really good. It's so funny because she was like halfway through washing my hair and like starting to brush it. And she was like, oh my God, you have so much hair. Like it's very deceiving because I feel like my hair is tame, but like the amount of hair I have is like so, so thick. And then she had to get someone to like help her blow dry my hair because I have so much and yeah and then the other stylist said to her like oh like you just did a balayage and I had already told the girl who's doing my hair that I haven't had my hair done for six months so I feel like my girl in BC does such a good job because if the stylist thought I had just gotten a balayage um yeah literally wild so that's how it's looking I am just gonna clean the house kind of get organized and have a little chill dinner and hang tonight but yeah that is the haircut i'm very happy with it you're signed to go get your hair chopped for summer good morning it's actually not the morning now that i say that it's the afternoon but i'm sitting here with a massive pile of stuff from zara that i'm gonna do a film I'm going to film a reel for, um, so I'm going to show you guys all this stuff, but I spent $500. I don't, I'm definitely not keeping it all, some of the stuff doesn't even fit me properly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek on what I bought, but I'm also going to film like some reels and TikToks for it. Um, I'm actually already wearing one of the tops right now. I'll show you. This is just like a basic graphic. I don't know, I just thought it was simple, cute. I wore it to work today, but yeah, I'm gonna film that and I'm watching 27 dresses as they do that. It's so hot today, I think I wanna go for a run later. I've been really trying to get on my running grind. We can chat about that later when I get there, but um, yeah, let's get filming and I'll show you guys the fits. Guys, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I was not gonna keep these pants, but I think I might have to, ignore the mess. Um, so this is like a little graphic tee that I was just showing you and then these are like some cargo parachute pants that are two-toned Honestly, I'm obsessed. Do I keep them? Please let me know because I have no idea, but I'm they're really growing on me and I'm loving them. So Yeah, we don't know Okay, next we have this black Midi skin tight dress this dress doesn't actually even do up. It's too tight on me um, I got too small of a size, but yeah, it's definitely cute. I feel like if it fit, but it's also a little dressier than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a more casual fabric, but it's not. So this will definitely be going back. Okay, guys, and this is that bomber jacket. Honestly, I feel like it's like not really my style. It feels sort of like European, like more like the Sophia Richie vibe going on. Um, so I also won't be keeping this and I completely forgot to film an outfit. So I will quickly just show you that one. Um, but yeah, this was the bomber. I did get it in XL because I wanted it oversized, but I did not realize it's like cropped and tiny, so not a fave. Okay, the first thing I forgot to show you guys was this long sleeve striped shirt, which I actually do really like. 
I just am not obsessed with it for like $40. So I think I will probably return this, but still indifferent. Um, and then I got this, I thought it was cargo. I don't know. I think I read the website wrong, but it's like a jean maxi skirt with like a slit in the middle. Um, it's too small for me. So I will not be keeping this, but definitely cute though. If it did fit me, but yeah, now I'm just hanging cleaning. I think I'm going to go on a walk soon. I'm just watching 27 dresses while I clean the house. I need to clean my whole life so badly. So maybe that'll be a test for the weekend. And I also want to set up our patio and get like some, um, what do you call them? Plants. I'm like set up a cute little area there. So stay tuned for that. If we get to that in this vlog. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning and we're gonna make a coffee. But I have a collab today with Adidas, which is kind of crazy to say. And like the Bay, they're like launching like a new collection in the Bay. And they have an event there today. So I have to go to Toronto today and get some content of the event and like create a reel for them. So that's my plan today. But first we're making coffee. I have to show you guys what Chelsea got me from California. As a little gift blue bottle coffee um if you know this is like the cool coffee of california so i've been trying it out because she got me beans for my coffee maker when she was in california last week already obsessed but yeah we're gonna make a coffee and then um gonna get ready to go to the city i also might go to brandy i always say that but i just want some more cute summer things so we'll see but let's make coffee okay here's the fit for the event i'm getting an outfit once i get there but I at least still want to show up somewhat sporty and like on the vibe. Um, this top is Zara, Aritzia, jacket's Aritzia. And then I'll wear Adidas shoes because I'm going to be on brand. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to go make breakfast and then head to Toronto for the event. I honestly don't really know what to expect. Um, and I'm going alone. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, I am home. I ended up doing a bit of damage. Well, not that much, but I did go shopping after the event. So let me show you what I got quickly. It's a new brand I've never really purchased from before. It's called Cotton On. Uh, if you're Canadian, it's in the Bay. I don't think they have like individual stores. But they're really affordable and I got two cute pieces. Cute, cute? Two cute pieces. The first one, is this like oversight graphic tee? I love graphic tees, so I had to get it. I thought it was simple, good to like throw on, you know. And then the next one, look at this really cute dress. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute for spring. I hope it's not see through. But yeah, got these from Cotton On, and I think this one was like 35, and the t shirt was 29, so very affordable. Um, but now. I think what I want to do is I really want to set up my patio and like a little mini garden. So I think I'm going to make a quick lunch and then go to Canadian Tire, bring you guys along. We're going to pick up some like herbs and flowers and like do a little bit of planting. We'll see how that goes. I honestly don't really know. I've never really made a garden, but um, I'm actually going to switch into this graphic tee because it's hotter today. You guys, it's honestly the biggest fail ever. I mean, I did get three plants. I got basil for salads. I got thyme for like chicken and seasoning. And I got mint for my muscle meals, which I'm about to make because I've had a day. Um, I just absolutely hate when grocery stores and like parking lots are just packed and you can't move anywhere and everyone's so impatient and they're honking. <sighs> so I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna clean the house, make a Moscow meal. And then I'm just gonna chill. And I'm gonna close up the vlog because it's Saturday and I'll probably start a new video for tomorrow. But yeah, I am just so exhausted. This week also flew by. I'm happy I got some content done, got my collab done today. Um, yeah, I just need to shower and chill and do some laundry. I feel like I've been go, 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 which I feel like everyone feels like that's not just me, but that's what I've been feeling. I feel like I've even had 20 minutes to clean the house lately. So I'm gonna do that now. I just have a chill night, so I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I feel like it was all over the place and scattered, but that's what they normally are with me, so 
yeah i love you guys enjoy today's video the next vlog i will give you an update on how the patio is looking that's what i might do today but again i barely got anything i didn't even get pots so i don't really know what to do with these i think i'm gonna order some on amazon but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next vlog okay have a good week bye